For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. You know, there are two types of mosquitoes that carry disease. The foggers used by cities and towns can be a pretty effective tool for controlling mosquitoes. They can even be used around the house. It's best, however, to start with the basics. Both types of disease-carrying mosquitoes need standing water to hatch. Get rid of it, especially if it's nasty water, says University of Illinois Extension entomologist Phil Nixon. Those mosquitoes are quiet biters. They will kind of sneak up and bite you. They are the ones in the case of Northern House mosquito transmitting West Nile virus. In the case of Asian tiger mosquito will transmit Zika virus if it gets established this coming summer. Uh, so both of these mosquitoes tend to be very relatively short range flyers, usually no more than a quarter of a mile, maybe a half a mile. And so what you do in your own property and around in your neighborhood, uh, what your neighbors do, can make a huge difference in the number of these mosquitoes and thus the likelihood of being bitten. Well, the first line of defense, says Phil Nixon and the Centers for Disease Control, is to protect your own person and your family. Use an EPA-registered insect repellent. Clean out your gutters. Get rid of that standing water. If you want to go further, for instance, in the case of a backyard get-together, even in the Midwest, where Zika-carrying mosquitoes are unlikely to appear, call in bigger guns like Darren Bohannon. He owns a Mosquito Squad franchise. So we're treating your yard here in the Midwest. We're probably not killing any of the Aegypta, uh, but there is some other mosquitoes that carry other diseases like West Nile, uh, heartworm for your pets. And so I think more people are concerned in their local area here in central Illinois with just the, the nuisance of mosquitoes. One final note on mosquitoes. You heard Phil Nixon say the two disease-carrying types sneak up on you. Those two types aren't particularly noisy, so less to worry about if you hear that mosquito buzzing by just before you feel its bite. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.